Welcome to POCO's May launch event in beautiful Dubai. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's enjoying the time. Had a few bites, a few drinks. My name is Angus. I'm the head of product marketing at POCO Global. It's our absolute honor to have our partners, fans, and medias to join us today. And of course, our viewers online. Today is actually my first time presenting in front of a real crowd, so I may seem a little bit nervous, so forgive me for that. And actually, our first offline launch event actually happened six years ago. Entering our sixth year as a young brand, we have excited and continued to push our limits of what technology has to offer. And as of right now, I'm very happy to say we've actually achieved 60 million devices shipment around the world. We're very proud of this. This is an example of what we've been doing is actually not impactful only to our fans, but also to the industry. Now, we've been always strictly following this mission. Everything you need, nothing you don't. We've always wanted to study the industry and understand what is needed and what we feel could be changed. We're a young brand, but that doesn't mean we, have, we don't have any insights. Today, I want to shortly briefly mention the current smartphone market we do believe is a little bit outdated. In the last few years, we've been categorizing as budget, entry, mid-range, flagships, and quasi-flagships, actually. But we have a different idea. Our smartphones at Poco, no matter which segment, we believe we're above the standard. So we think calling ourselves mid-rangers, quasi-flagships, we're kind of selling ourselves a little bit short here. So we're proposing, instead of calling ourselves that, we want to change it to daily drivers. Technology has become so good in the segment, I think some of us haven't realized it yet. Our X-Series is a great example, and our F-Series is even better. In the price range of 300 to 600, we stand out in specs and in price every time. So our F-Series has been doing it for years, ever since the Poco F1 all the way to last year's Poco F5 series. That really is because our F-Series follow one mission in mind, always challenging the limits within its price range and the limits of performance outside its price range. Today, we'll be talking about our latest F6 series, a beginning of a new era of 2024 flagship. And I want to start by introducing our Poco F6. <laughs> Now, we're super excited about this amazing beast we've brought in. And it's an amazing performance flagship shaped by speed in every way. So let's get straight into it. As always, I want to start off with performance. It's our pride and it's our joy. But this goes without saying, elite performance is always our top priority, especially in our F-Series. We make sure performance is always optimized to give our users the best possible experience. Which is why today we want to introduce a concept called the performance revolution. This time around, we're not only going to talk about chipset, but also software, our tuning, also guaranteed cooling as well. So let's start with the basics to lay down the foundation. Now, we've had a long history with our partners here at Qualcomm. In the last six years, we've had amazing chipsets that onboard our smartphones. Some legendary chipsets, the Snapdragon 860, the 865, the 870, and last year's 7 Plus Gen 2 and 8 Plus Gen 1. This year, on our Poco F6, we're happy to announce we'll be featuring the 8S Gen 3 being one of the first smartphones in the market. And one of the key reasons why we decided to put the 8S Gen 3 in our Poco F6 is because of how similar it is to the 8 Gen 3. In the CPU department, it shares the same generation CPU structure as its big brother, both featuring the X4 Prime Core and the A7020 Cortex and the 520 Cortex as well, compared to the last generation as a 27% improvement. But not only that, in the GPU, we see a bigger improvement, 40% stronger from last generation. I'm sure the gamers seated here or on the line must be pleased with this number as well. And lastly, with AI performance, the POCO F6 comes with a brand new AI engine and supports large model processing as well. It's also one, going to be one of the first devices we have that will feature AON. So to match speed with speed, 
with such a great chipset. We also featured the LPDDR5X and UFS 4.0, which is top tier RAM and ROM technology in any segment. We've also upgraded to 12 plus 512 gigabytes, giving our users more storage freedom. So the Antitude benchmark for the F6 comes in at 1,530,000. This is truly shaped by speed. And compared to last year, we've improved by almost 400,000. From last year's amazing 7 Plus Gen 2 to an even more insane score by the 8S Gen 3, our hardware performance from the Poco F6 and RAM and ROM sets a strong foundation for us here. So we've gone through the first step, a performance revolution. The foundation is laid down, and let's talk about how do we really boost that, our latest in-house software algorithm. Wild Boost Optimization 3.0. <laughs> With the help of the 8S Gen 3 and Xiaomi Hyper OS, the Wild Boost Optimization 3.0 was made possible. But we had to first think about what are we doing with Wild Boost Optimization? We want to make sure it can deliver an incredible game experience to all of our users. So we really had to think from a gamer's point of view. As a gamer myself and multiple members from the team, we had a lot of discussion. We believe there's three key areas to achieve great gaming experience, to have a fast and stable gameplay, to have high quality gameplay, and also an accurate gameplay an end-to-end gaming experience. Which is why our 3.0 for Wild Boost Optimization will introduce three new features under the three areas. We have smart performance scheduling, super resolution rendering, and lastly, instant game control. So let's get started with the first one. We want to be more detailed to better harness the hardware power and let it perform when it only needs to. This is done throughout AI frequency modulation, thread management, and frame rate stabilization. To give you guys an example, we played a really popular game for 60 minutes. And this game was quite demanding. We were able to get a much more stable frame rate, but uses less power. So that's a win-win situation for our gamers. And up next, probably one of the most exciting features this time around, which is supporting 1.5K super resolution. As gamers, we always want to chase the latest quality. And you can really see the details of the beautiful environment in the game even more so, experiencing a clear fantasy on your screen, closing the gap of fantasy and reality with our visual experience. Of course, this does require our F6 to really perform well, and it most certainly did. Under 1.5K super resolution, we were able to get an average FPS of roughly around 59 while maintaining full brightness at 360 nits throughout a 30-minute gameplay. And lastly, we have instant game control, which really takes our gamer skills to have an edge. Response rate overall is better on F6. Whether you're playing RPG game, FPS game, the F6 will react faster to your touch. However, I must say, this won't make you guys a pro gamer instantly, but we'll try our best to assist you on that. So we've gone through the hardware, which is supported by Snapdragon 8S Gen 3, the software as Wild Boost Optimization 3.0. Lastly, we have cooling. With such great speeds we just talked about, we believe it must come with great cooling. Today, we will be introducing the all-new Liquid Cool Technology 4.0. Now, we've been working on Liquid Cool Technology ever since the Poco F1, and it certainly has become a part of our identity. As always, liquid cool structure is a little bit complicated, so I won't go into too much details. But there is a specific part I want to expand on. In our liquid cool technology 4.0, we feature an all new ice loop system. This is the biggest change we've made compared to traditional vapor chamber to an all new design. This will massively improve your cooling efficiency. Let's see a comparison, actually. With our all new ice loop system, the temperature difference is improved by a lot. But what does that mean? With the ice loop system, you can see the source of the heat is spread out even faster than traditional vapor chambers. So do you usually feel when you're gaming on your current smartphones, there's a specific hot spot that gets really hot, and it's like hard to touch? Usually it's around the camera deco. 
Without ice loop system, this can be avoided. Not only we improved our cooling solution, but also our monitoring. With the help of multiple sensors, it will react to heating even faster. And lastly, we have a planned heat path to assist efficient cooling, and all to improve our users' gaming holding comfort. It's not only about getting rid of the heat, but ensuring our users to have a comfortable, cool holding experience. So this is our F6 performance revolution with Snapdragon 8 S Gen 3, Wild Boost Optimization 3.0, and Liquid Cool Technology 4.0, our users can experience a complete new speed. Now, I don't want to stand up here and talk to you guys and show no evidence at all. We said the Poco F6 is a performance flagship. So obviously, we've got to challenge one as well in the market. In terms of gaming comparison, we took one of the world's most famous games known regardless of its mobile or PC, PUBG. Running in 90 FPS mode for 30 minutes straight, you can see we're almost near frame rate of 89.4, while a flagship that cost $1,000 was only hitting at 87.9. But not only that, we don't look at FPS only, but brightness as well. After just 10 minutes, our competitors start dropping in brightness, while the F6 maintained the standard brightness throughout the whole way. Now, lowering brightness while you're gaming is honestly quite frustrating. But besides that, our temperature, we were able to get almost two degrees lower. So FPS, brightness, temperature, we're taking the lead. And today, we have very good news to announce as well. The Poco F6 will be one of the first devices to support the newly launched 120 FPS mode for PUBG. <laughs> We've always valued our relationship with PUBG, and this is a strong effort from both sides to offer our gamers the ultimate FPS experience. So our F6, shaped by speed, driven by performance revolution, We've really, really packed everything we could to push the limits of performance, no matter what segment there is. But we are calling ourselves a performance flagship. And we do believe most performance flagship in the market are caught slacking in other areas. But the F6 is different. We still aim to have an incredible overall experience for the F6 not only insane speeds, but great overall experience. So when it comes to design, display, camera, and battery, we make sure our design is simple and clean, our display to be immersive, our camera to have high quality, and our battery to be durable. These were the focus points. So let's take a look at our F6. First off, we have F6 in black, looking super clean and classy here. A choice that never goes wrong. Absolutely timeless. Then we have F6 in titanium color, a very popular color choice in the last year. And it looks absolutely stunning here as well. And lastly, we want to bring a green variant to our F series. Not a common color, but the green F6 looks striking in every way. So for our F6 overall design language, it's really about being simple, a pure look for pure speed. But what really stands out in the back, it's our camera deco with a special design trimming around the cameras. The design inspiration comes from elements of what speed would look like. And of course, besides looking stunning, the F6 is designed with comfort in mind. Under 8 millimeter thin and 200 grams, it rests super easy in your palms. But thin and light devices often raise questions of durability which we're also very confident as well. Our Poco F6 may have a soft look, but it's built tough. It was able to get five stars in the drop-resistant test done by SGS. And finally, not only SGS, the F6 has also passed the IP64 rating for dust and water resistance. So the F6 is really designed with elegance and simplicity, but we made sure it can handle a few accidental drops, hopefully accidental, and also some dust and water droplets along the way. But after the backside on the F6, let's take a look at the front. We're happy to introduce Crystal Res Flow AMOLED onto our F6. 
It's an absolute brilliant display that we brought on earlier this year to our X series. But for the F series, it's even better. One of the most important upgrades we put on the F6 display is the protection of Corning Gorilla Glass Victus, still one of the best protection technology there is in the segment. But instead of going through the specs of the display one by one, let me just show it all. Because the F6 display is flagship level in every way. But am I being lazy here by showing all of you guys the specs? In fact, there's a different reasoning. With all the highlighted box just now, these are all the upgrades we brought compared to last year's Poco F5. And there's just so many. This is our F6 display, and we can't wait for you guys to try it in person. It is our most seamless display within the Poco lineup. Up next, camera. Not so excited sometimes to talk about this, but today, super excited. I decided to say this to media friends a few years ago, and I think it gave a bad rep. Today, I want to add a second part to this quote. I want to say, even though it's not our top priority, we still want to offer a great quality camera, which is why the Poco F6 will be featuring dual Sony cameras, with OIS, of course. It's a massive upgrade compared to last generation. With the Sony IMX A82 sensors, we'll be seeing a great quality improvement from, in every mode we take. And that's really thanks to its large aperture of 1.59 compared to last generation. The biggest difference is about how much light intake is improved by 65%. So when it comes to some sample shots, first, we have our main sensor shot under 50 megapixel mode. The colors, the brightness, and the contrast looks really good here. And when we compare it to last generation, in a more complicated setting like this, where colors are a little bit more vibrant and the sunlight's a little bit tricky, the F6 can really push the lighting to be much better. The colors are better portrayed as well. But let's just not only look at how it performs during the day. During relatively low light environments, we we're able to get a very clear look at our model and the background and the details as well. So we're pretty good during the day, and we're pretty good during at night. And if our users want to take some candid Instagram shots, you can use portrait mode, or you can get a little bit creative with ultra-wide mode as well. A lot of us like to use ultra-wide for these big scenery shots, but you can also try really cool angle shots like this, making it look super fashionable. Now, besides the photo shots, we also want to introduce a new feature on the F6, which is HDR10 Plus on video. And we shot a short example of what it will look like. So let's take a look at the video. The effects of HDR10 Plus really brings the view alive. But before we finish up camera, I did mention earlier I want to introduce the one more thing we talked about. AON, also known as Always On. Now, this is a tech made possible by our Snapdragon 8 S Gen 3 and the front camera. So our latest AON has four cool new features. We have smart lock detection, smart AOD, and also a smart rotational screen. All these functions is here to power your daily life to make it a little bit more convenient, a little bit easier. But my favorite function is the Poco AI Air Gestures, where you can use different gestures without actually touching your screen to control the actions of your devices. This is handy. If you're in the gym and you're on the treadmill, you're running above six kilometers, it's not very convenient for you to touch your phone, you can simply do these gestures to control it. Or if you're just gaming with your boys at night, and then your girlfriend calls, you can draw a circle to answer the call, and then draw another circle to end the call. So to show you guys some examples, we also have a short video to showcase. Also, let's take a look.
So AON, a very cool feature. But lastly, let's talk about battery life. We went through gaming, camera, and display, and a lot of features that probably drains your battery. So the POCO F6 will be featuring an all-new 90-watt turbo charging for the very first time. This is a big upgrade compared to the last two generations of 67 watt. And to go fully charged, all it takes is 35 minutes. So if you forget to charge your phone at night before you went to bed, you can always wake up in the morning, plug it in, and by the time you leave for the house, it will be fully charged. Well, hopefully, in case, depending how far or how fast you get ready. But fast charging has always raised questions of durability. When you charge your phone too often, it hurts the battery. That's the truth. But the POCO F6 can sustain longer than ever before. 1,000 cycles while maintaining 90% battery capacity retention rate. So the POCO F6, here we are, driven by performance with no weakness in any area. A true performance flagship. And to summarize our amazing POCO F6, with the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3, Wild Boost Optimization 3.0, Liquid Cool Technology 4.0, Crystal Rest Flow AMOLED, 50 megapixel Sony cameras, and lastly, the 90 watt turbo charging. This is our performance flagship blueprint after exploring for six years. Now, I'll actually, I'll give you guys one more moment for the photo. Wait, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> I'll wait for you, don't worry. <laughs> we good? Because I know you guys can't wait for this slide, right? Here he goes, price. The one slide and the one part you guys have been waiting for and our fans online. And this time, no comparison, no hype, simply because there's no need. Poco F6 will be starting at $379. That'll be our base variant. And then also for the 12,512, we'll be starting at $429. Good? Yes? We, <laughs> I was just going to say, our sales team back there knows we can do better. $50 off all of them. We'll be starting at 339 379 for the high variant, so absolute value for insane speeds. For a performance flagship, we are confident there is few or none in the market that has packed so much specs and so much value in these price segments. So we've always strived to be better year on year. And compared to last year's already very successful F5, we've upgraded in almost every aspect. And if you look closely, yes, $10 for all that upgrade. But the higher variant, we actually doubled the storage and maintained the same price. And when we do find a competitor in the spec range and the price range, sort of, it was hard because we're so unique, right? Our pricing is still much more aggressive, and we outshine them in many areas. And I'm happy to say our POCO F6 will be going on sale today on these channels. We're super happy to bring the F6 to you guys, and we hope our users and fans around the world love it. Now, I do know our fans over there aren't easily pleased. Our fan base always wants more, and so do we, which is why we're going to continue to bring out the Pro model in our F-Series, a smartphone that's flagship tier in every way. Introducing our latest POCO F6 Pro. This is our best smartphone yet. And last year, our POCO Pro was all about igniting your hyperpower. This year, we take it up to a whole new level. Hyperpower evolved. And the first part I want to introduce is hyperpower design. It's rare for us to start off on a design section, but with the upgrades we see this year, we want to show it off right away. But first, I do want to define what is premium design. It seems like this was one of the hardest obstacles to come overcome to be seen as a flagship for fans or for medias, for even ourselves. Looking good is obviously a very important, but that's not enough. The feel, the quality, the detail, the refinement of color are all considered for premium design. 
So let's take a look at our F6 Pro. The most upgrade with F6 Pro is designed with a beautiful velvet glass back, offering a premium feel. We curved all the back sides on four edges to make it feel really good in your palms. And the one detail that often gets left out is the metal frame. Our media friends love asking me this question. So this time around, we make sure we meet their needs, improving in quality and in sturdiness. But of course, premium design is all about the little details. We've colored the rings around the camera deco with a gold ring design. And our deco itself actually curves on both edges, so it doesn't cut into your palms, making it more comfortable than ever. So we're proud and happy to say our F6 Pro has taken design to a whole new level, a design that has evolved massively, our version of premium craftsmanship. So the F6 Pro will be available in white, and the overall look is actually inspired by the surface of the moon. So we like to call it the bright side of the moon. And the black variant being the dark side of the moon looks so subtle, but yet powerful. So I'm curious which one you guys like more. It was difficult, but I've been using the white variant myself, and it's been absolutely amazing. Now, design is an area we'll be focusing more and more on. F6 Pro is just the very first step. With two beautiful colors available, the 6 Pro is all about good looking, great hand feel, and full of details. This is our evolved design, and we hope you guys like it. And just like earlier, let's move to the front and take a look at a hyper power display. In 2023, our F5 Pro already featured a WQHD Plus display. It was a flagship standard. But how do we evolve an already brilliant display? Today, in our F6 Pro, we certainly did. It was a hard process and got our team scratching their heads. But I think we managed to do it. In terms of a good display, it wasn't always about resolution. That's a big part of it. But in order to make it even better in terms of touch, color, eye care, and brightness. So let's start with the first thing we improved. The F6 Pro will be featuring the highest peak brightness available within the Poco brand at 4,000 nits. <laughs> this is to ensure our display can be seen in under very bright environments. And of course, we have great other tuning as well, including 1,200 nits at high brightness levels and adaptive HDR. All these features to make sure your display is tuned right. And when it comes to the accuracy of colors, we're featuring an all-new coloring tuning, Original Color Pro. Whatever content you're watching on this display, we want to keep the colors really close to real life, offering a real visual experience. And on top of Original Color Pro, we also do support 68 billion colors, adaptive colors, a DCI-P3 white color gamut. We didn't remove or slack in any of these areas. But with a colorful and a bright display, we make sure we take care of our users' eyes, which is why we are supporting 3,840 hertz PWM dimming for the very first time as well. During low lights environments, whether you're viewing your phone in your bed during a night, which I know I think 99% of us here do, this feature will kick in and make sure you have a more comfortable experience. But along with that, we do have a lot of software tuning for eye care as well. This is not important to us, but also in general to our users, as smartphone is really that one device we'd stare at most. And lastly, in the area of touch, we've also upgraded the F6 Pro to support wet touch display. Whether this is your showering or your cooking, the display is actually more responsive than ever before. So it was really difficult to actually improve our display, but I think we managed to feed in some great features. If you put this display against any flagships on the market, I believe we'll put up a really good fight. If not, we'll beat them as well. So we fished up the exterior of the F6 Pro. Up next, we have hyperpower performance. As a pro model in the F6 series, of course, I mentioned earlier about performance revolution is also available. So let's quickly go through what the F6 Pro features. 
we'll be featuring the beloved chipset of Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Now, a lot of you are familiar with this chipset, so I won't go into super deep details on this. Compared to last generation, CPU and efficiency has massively improved. And GPU, even a bigger improvement above 30% in both efficiency and power. And lastly, AI, a mind-blowing 60%. If you guys remember, last year's 8 Plus Gen 1 was really good already. This year, the 8 Gen 2 takes it to a whole new level. For our F6 Pro, we'll also be featuring the LPDDR5X and UFS 4.0. But this is a given, right? You guys expected this. But since it's our Pro model, we want to take it even further. For the very first time in the Poco lineups, we'll be bringing 16 gigs, gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. Now, this is a super rare option, no matter what segment you're looking into. S sorry, sorry? Oh, OK. With 16 gigabytes of RAM, you won't ever actually need to worry about the background apps you're running. It can run up to 46 apps on standby and one terabyte of storage. If you guys have to think about it, one terabyte in our smartphones is actually quite insane. You don't even need to look at how big the apps you're downloading in the app stores. Just download it. They're stress-free. You can download endless apps, games, videos, and also keep a lot of funny videos and funny photos of your loved ones as well, offering a stress-free experience. So with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and great RAM and ROM, we actually achieved an Antutu score over 1.6 million. This is our best score yet. But F6 Pro will also be featuring Wild Boost Optimization 3.0 and Liquid Group Technology 4.0. In fact, our ice loop system in the Pro model is actually even bigger, so the cooling experience is even better. We made sure performance is top notch for the Pro as well. So, in terms of gaming, we also did the same test 30 minute gaming for a large RPG game on the market. Of course, it had great performance. We were able to get 59.5 in frame rate. Also, the brightness standard was raised to 400, and it maintained 400 throughout the whole way. And the temperature is sitting around 43.4 degrees. So the 6 Pro really offers a pro gaming experience as well. And in all aspects of gaming experience, we even improved our antenna design to ensure minimal lag for our gamers. By incorporating the antennas within our metal frames, the coverage area has improved massively. But what is the real benefit of this? This might actually happen to a lot of us here. When your Wi-Fi router is sitting in your living room and you move to your bedroom, the signal usually becomes weaker. But with F6 Pro, we actually made sure the signal is stronger and stable to maintain high speeds. This is a very handy function we put on here. But we're not done with Pro performance just yet. Today, the F6 Pro will be one of the first devices to enter the AI era. We want to introduce a function that lets your daily life to be more convenient and efficient. So let's start with the first and probably, I think, the most fun function that we have, AI portraits. This is to help you generate really fun images that could be used you know, for social media or work images that's used for work. But this time around, for our example, we did it for fun. My good friend from the Xiaomi group, TJ Walton, was happy to give me some photos of himself. I'm sure you guys have seen him around. He's here with us today, actually. So we actually generated some photos of TJ. And let's take a look at the results. We switched up multiple styles of what he would look like in different fashions, in different scenarios, all generated by AI, just based off of real photos. But other than AI portrait, we also have really cool editing functions, such as AI expansion, easily expanding and automatically adjust photos to make it look even more grand than it already is. And we also have AI Magic Erase Pro, a really handy tool to create two cool photos like this, but mainly to remove photo bombers. And the F6 Pro will also support searching photos in the gallery with AI album search. Now, this is really handy. Just a few days ago, I had to look for my passport photo, and I had to search passport, and it actually showed up. Instead of scrolling endlessly on my phone, it came out in an instant. Easy and very convenient for usage. 
And F6 Pro will also feature a very handy tool for your work life. This will give your videos live translated subtitles with AI subtitles functionality, automatically summarizing your meeting notes into notes function, and also offering a real-time voice translation as well. So AI capabilities has been unbelievable and has taken us so far, and we're only at the beginning of it. So we're really happy to introduce all of these AI functions this time around. And do, I do want to say it's actually not only available for our F6 Pro, but also on our F6 later on. So make sure you apply through our official channels for beta access. So this is our hyperpower performance from our F6 Pro. With all the essentials we talked about from F6, but on top of that, a bigger and larger RAM and ROM with AI functions, running games, working, or multitasking will be an absolute breeze. So let's go through camera next. As a flagship, we do believe we must have a great mobile photography experience. And this time around, for the F6 Pro, we put even more effort, making camera one of our strongest features. The Pro will be featuring a 50 megapixel main sensor with an ultra wide and micro lens. And the main sensor is really special. We're so excited to bring one of the best sensors in the market, Life Fusion 800. It's an amazing piece of hardware. One of the biggest features it brings is dual native ISO Fusion Max. It can achieve really high dynamic range when capturing photos. It can make sure the photos are not overexposed, and details in the shadows are also retained, ensuring an excellent reproduction of the photo. So let's see how compared to last year's generation. From afar, you can tell the colors on the F6 Pros is much better. The red stripe on our model's pants and the details in the jacket and the background is much more detailed and portrayed better as well. But that's not all Life Fusion 800 has brought for us. It also features OIS and a massive increase of light intake as well. Compared to last year's FI Pro, we actually improved by 62%, which means this year around, our night shots has gone a lot better. And I mean by like a lot, a lot better. So a simple photo like this, where the lighting can get pretty complicated with dim yellow lights, bright white lights in the background, we were able to capture a great shot. But this isn't enough to convince you guys. So we improved even further. We'll be introducing Ultra Night Algorithm on our F6 Pro. This is a powerful algorithm that really brings out the beauty of the night. To give you guys an idea of how great this is, on the left, we have a competitor. On the right, we have the F6 Pro. Under the same conditions, we're able to get the Ultra Night Algorithm working to bring out each light of ray to its maximum. But if you want to take a photo in an even darker environment, even closer up, we also tried it out. During a Poco Lab YouTube recording, I randomly, randomly took these photos with our previous generation and our F6 Pro. Under the same conditions, same lighting. I was shocked by the results. It's almost insane how Ultra Night Algorithm can reconstruct an image to this level. It's such a cool function, and I'd love for you guys to try out later as well. Now, that sums up our night photography. I'm sure most of you guys will enjoy it and try it out later as well, especially in the night of Dubai. It'll look stunning. But we also made changes to our other modes. In life, our smartphone is all about capturing that moment, that specific moment where you're just randomly scrolling through your phone and you see a photo that makes you laugh or smile, that makes you happy. Today, we'll be introducing Burst Shot Mode 2.0. This mode is super fun and super playful and super easy to use. With Burst Shot 2.0, you can cap capture up to 50 photos in just one shot. And in one second, you can capture up to 30. So the speed is pretty insane here. But to give you guys an even bigger example, we took the same competitor earlier, and we found out they were only able to get 20 frames per shot while we were still hitting 50. But not only that, we're faster, but what's most important? Quality. The quality of our photo also had an edge over their shot as well. If you look at the details of the lighting, the color, the F6 Pro was better as well. So burst shot mode is really made to capture the cool moments in life. It's absolute perfect function 
for your social media shots. It could be a cute moment of your pet or your kids or anything. And to get this function working so perfectly is because we do feature a single frame HDR capture working with our POCO imaging engine. So the perfect of hardware and software working together. We also shot a video to demonstrate and very cool photos to showcase as well. Let's take a look. So burst shot mode, play with it on the F6 Pro. It's super fun, creative, and doesn't require that much to capture amazing photos. So this is our F6 Pro's camera, Hyper Camera Evolved. Flagship level camera with so many features for you to explore. I'm excited for our media friends especially to try it out. I'm very confident to hear some praises in person from them. Lastly, battery. Hyper Power Battery Evolved. We want to make sure there's always hypercharging, duration and safety with our Pro models. And to start it all off, we'll be bringing back the 120 watt hypercharge into our F6 Pro. So 100% in just under 20 minutes is fast for your convenience. But we also have an all day battery of 5,000 milliamp. So 5,000 and 120 watt works really well. We didn't sacrifice the battery size when we up the charging speeds. But we also made sure fast charging is safe. Without battery and smart charging engine working together, we ensure you to have a safe, fast charging experience. And lastly, when you do run out of battery, which is probably going to be a little bit rare, but when you're sitting at 1% and you're out and about, we do have a function called hibernation mode, which will turn on and give you 30 minutes of phone call and two hours of standby. Now, I know when we're outside and our phone dies, it's always a weird feeling. It's like scary. But we try to help you to make it home so you can charge your phone on time. So F6 Pro, Hyper Power Evolved, our 2024 new all-around flagship. I really hope you guys like it. So we believe this year our Pro model has made great strides and has found its place in its flagship segment evolved especially in camera and design. Usually that was our shortcoming, but not this year. We still kept a great battery and also great performance. So we really hope you guys like what we brought. Maybe you guys will like it more when we finish talking about this slide. With so many upgrades compared to last generation, is it reasonable to raise the price up just a little bit? The GTM doesn't look very happy right now. He's like, no, our sales team, we don't want to raise the price, right? So the F6 Pro will be starting at $499. <laughs> of course, we have two higher variants at $549 and $629. And as always, $50 off, $449. cutting $50 on all of our options. So we stick by our pricing values. We will do everything we can to offer our users everything they need and nothing they don't. So if you look at a comparison from last year, hyper upgrades, same powerful pricing. Well, except our pricing for the one terabyte, because that's new. And when we put ourselves against, let's just say, the Samsung S24 Plus, sure, I know a lot of you may think we shouldn't compete with them, but you can't deny we put up a good fight and make you hesitate because we're literally under half their price. Now, I will leave with the question, is it worth it? Spending $1,000 for one phone, or you could buy a black variant of F6 Pro, a white variant of F6 Pro, and bring it home for your loved one or your kids and have matching phones. Our F6 Pro will also be starting today on these channels, so make sure our friends online to check out local regional official POCO accounts to see which channels are available for these amazing deals. So here it is again, the F6 and F6 Pro 
in all its glory, a performance flagship and an all-around flagship, both incredible devices that can bring you everything you need. So which one is your pick? Or maybe take both. I'm good with all of them, actually. Now, before we end today's launch, I've got one more new product to showcase, one many have been waiting for. A lot of us knows us as a smartphone brand, but in reality, we're obsessed with all sorts of tech, which is why today we'll be happy to bring our very first tablet, PocoPad. <laughs> PocoPad is simple. It's all about bringing the big display for bigger plays. But before we start flexing on the specs, I want to be honest for a moment. Why are we buying a tablet? The idea when I first bought my first tablet was, this will be my new work machine. I'm going to be so efficient. I'm going to bring it to a coffee shop, look really cool, sit there with my keyboard. But then I end up just watching movies and TV shows. So what's my first need? I need this pad to be playful. It needs to support my entertainment features. Which is why the Pogo Pad will come in at 12.1 inch, so you can see more and be immersed. And 12.1 inch is just diffy. We're getting so spoiled here, but watching shows on a big tablet is so enjoyable, especially on the long flights. And with a 16 by 10 ratio, the Poco Pad can display more information on web pages and documents, while still being great for content consumption. Now, this display is elite in every way. A superb 2.5K resolution, 600 nits brightness, and up to 120 hertz dynamic refresh rate. And of course, with every display we put out, we want to make sure your eyesight is taken care of, which is why Poco Pad will be supporting DC dimming and certified by Tooth Island in three tests. But when you're watching movies, the Poco Pad also supports Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos for immersive audio and visual experience. And behind the screen is the 7S Gen 2, delivering a fast performance, which is great for casual gaming and your everyday play or work. And to make sure we have enough storage space, the Poco Pad will be able to support up to 1.5 terabyte on expandable storage, and the default option will be 8 plus 256, which usually is enough for everyone. The Pogo Pad will come in with a 10,000 milliamp battery, which delivers fantastic battery life. Well, someone's real happy about 10,000 over there. <laughs> it can watch up to 16 hours of online streaming, so that's a lot of hours of YouTube. And to charge up the Pogo Pad, it supports 33 watt fast charging. Just 15 minutes of charging, you'll be able to get 20 hours of music playback and lots of entertainment features around. But we can't only talk about play. Let's listen to our rational side for a second. We still want a tablet that is fitting for work. The first thing you will notice about Poco Pad is that it's a sleek looking tablet. With a slim body and light design, it becomes really easy to carry around. The Poco Pad also looks really good with a unibody design that comes in in gray and blue. But what's most important when it comes to work? The Poco Pad's interconnectivity features powered by Xiaomi Hyper OS. So let's check out some of the features it works. First, we have Home Screen Plus, which allows you to seamlessly cast your smartphone screen directly into your tablet, even drag and drop text, images, and files between them. We also have shared clipboard, which supports tap to share, allowing you to transfer files faster than ever. So you don't have to use a USB anymore between these two devices. And a really handy feature during meetings, you can almost use your smartphone camera to directly take a photo to a note you're working on on PocoPad. So you don't have to be that one person just now over there I saw using a pad taking a photo. You can use your smartphone to do it. But lastly, we also have network syncing. Just one tap, and you can connect your smartphone hotspots with just one click away. So it's super easy, super smooth, and super seamless. But along PocoPad, we're also introducing a few accessories. A keyboard, fantastic like PC experience. A smart pen, perfect for your creative ideas. And lastly, a cover just to protect it when you bring it outdoors. 
So this is all for PokePad. So our first ever tablet built for entertainment. This is our very first step into the tablet world. We're excited to learn from others, but we are also aiming to make a name for ourselves in this category. And how much does it cost? The Poco Pad will start at $329. With the keyboard at $79, our pen at $59, and the case only at $19. Of course, we'll be bringing the early bird, $299. So below $300, you'll be able to bring a tablet home. Super affordable, super great value, and a great experience overall. When we compare ourselves to a competitor on the market, which is in the higher mid-range tier, we have a competitive edge in many ways, but almost half the price. We don't change our philosophy even when it comes to tablets. We still bring super aggressive pricing in every product line we have. Of course, PocoPad will be available starting today on these channels. Make sure to check it out. Don't miss out on this great deal. It's a great experience, especially with our smartphones. So we're coming to an end. We bought three amazing devices today in our launch event here in Dubai, the Poco F6, the F6 Pro, and the PocoPad. And just to see it all together with the pricing, it brings insane value, crazy value. We really hope you've all enjoyed what we brought today. I certainly had a lot of fun being up here and seeing you guys in person. And once again, thank you all for joining us today.